for that. If you would follow me to the book of Psalms, Psalms 30, Psalms 30 and 5. Find that real soon. Say amen. amen. Psalms 30. Psalms 30. And five. Let's, let's get this out. First, and then I'll dive back up to the text for tonight. And then I'll show you expand on the subject. And then we'll ask the Lord to just guide us. Father, before we thank you for just being with us tonight in the midst of this revival. We ask you to send out the Lord Holy Spirit that it will be food for the souls of those who are sinful. Keep us tonight in perfect peace. Let our minds be on you and let us fulfill the scripture tonight for we come to be holy. We ask you, O God, as we sit in this temple, let your voice be heard. Let us glorify you. We will sure to lift you up and give you all the praises. We claim this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 For those that are with us, let's, I want you to share with me in, uh, the third of Psalms. Let's read from verse 1. And let us read down to verse 6. Then I want you to stop there for a minute. Then I want you to see it because I have some other things that I want to share with you. It's going to take me a little while. The seniors can't go as fast as the young people. Alright, so we're going to ask you to just hold still for a few minutes. Let us read from verse 1 down to verse 6. I will go forward to the Lord. Pick 
them up there and follow me. Is that what you said? Yes, sir. Pick them up and follow me. I want you tonight to just stand on your feet one more time. I want you to take somebody on the side of you and I want you to look at them through and be serious about your look. Be serious about your look. Tell your neighbor tonight, tonight, the morning, That's all right. You see. We are what? Not 
said, if it be so.
insurance. Don't let the devil fool you. Because he's out there to sift you like wheat. And he'll put things in your way. Said I'm not gonna bow down. So I'm not gonna give up. If it means that drugs in my home, said I'm gonna march on into the fire furnace. See the king said that I tell you what I'm gonna do. I said I'm gonna build a fire down in the fireplace, and I'm gonna make it ten times hotter than it ever been. And you don't. See, the king didn't know that when they marched in, one went in with the father, the other one went in with the son, and the other one went in with the Holy Ghost. So said, yeah. I want you to pray with me for a little while. I want you to pray with me for a little while. We're going to get to the point out for a while. But I got to tell you tonight, uh, I want you to hold on uh, until the morning come. Uh, yeah, there's going to be some trouble at midnight. Uh, Sometimes you got to get up with aches and pains in your body. Sometimes you get up and can't find your husband. Uh, Sometimes you don't have your wife on your side. Uh, Sometimes you don't have money to pay your bills. Uh,
some of us in here tonight that have given up everything we had just to follow Jesus. But if you give up everything you got, I want you to ask Job about it. Job said he laid down his life for the ransom of God. But if you lay your life down, God will make a way for you. Took everything Job had. Took his truth.
was young, and now you was young, and now older. But the Bible said, I never seen uh, the righteous forsaken, uh, nor my seed begging bread. Uh, how many of y'all are the seed of God? Uh, I don't care what you're going through with. If you're a God seed, uh, you don't have to beg for nothing. Uh, all you have to do is turn around and tell the devil he's a liar. I want to tell you some young people, let me tell you so you know, don't worry about the singing, don't worry about the rapping, but worry about the word of God. See, because when the singing cease, when the shouting stop, God word. Every time you turn the heat, you get busy for the 